I'm going to share with you my seven overall big predictions for AI in 2026. Now, some of this deals with education, some of this deals with society overall, but these are all big things associated with AI in the year 2026. So the very first one is one that's already starting to happen, and it's, it's this aspect of it's going to happen much more and it's going to be more widespread as far as acceptance. And that's the use of AI by governments as well as by individual people such as myself. Here's two big examples of it. One was the Swedish prime minister admitting that he uses ChatGPT in order to assist him with making all sorts of different judgments and decisions for things going on within the government. Uh, another big one here was that there was recently an army general that says that he's used AI to improve his decision-making skills. And there's more and more AI being used in the government, in the military, in order to help with decisions, in order to help with understanding so much information. This will not only be a growing trend, but it will be sort of uh, this enhanced understanding by everyone that, yeah, this makes sense. So it'll be accepted that much more. Why? Because there's so much information to process. There's so much possibility AI will be able to assist us with all of that. Now, again, it won't be a good outcome if we don't have AI literacy to help us think critically, to help us understand the limitations. All these things come together. But yes, AI could definitely help us in many different ways within government, within the military, and then individually as well. I think there's going to be a growing acceptance of this because right now, many of us, right, we use AI practically daily but it isn't accepted by the rest of society. It's viewed upon as, oh, you don't know anything, that's why you're using AI. So there's this false understanding of why somebody would use AI. So I think acceptance will increase, but only because there's going to be more AI literacy that gets part of that overall uh, formula. In order to have more acceptance, we need to have more AI literacy for, so that people understand. So I think that's gonna be a key thing that, yeah, there's gonna be more use of AI in general, specifically within governments, military, as well as people, everyday people, uh, and of course business, but that's a whole separate aspect here. And when I say a course business is because I don't even, I don't even wanna put that in as a prediction because it's so obvious that of course it's gonna be used. Now, I don't want some of you to be saying, oh, well, what about that report from AI, MIT about how 95% of the people or the companies surveyed say that the, it wasn't a good uh, investment. That's so, that MIT study was so messed up and so silly because think about this. Think about all the companies that invested in the internet when it first came out. Think about that. So many companies invested in the internet and the very first thing, the only thing that they did was to use it like the yellow pages. So it was a simple static image of their business. That's it. Why? Because they hadn't fully understood how to use the internet yet, how to maximize its engagement and use it for so many different possibilities. That's the same thing going on with AI. Businesses are starting to use it, starting to understand the different ways, and there are many ways for it to enhance their business. So this is going to obviously going to to happen more and more. So I'm not even putting that as a prediction. So prediction one, dealing with enhanced use within governments, within military, within individuals and greater acceptance as well. Prediction two is very exciting because this is an aspect of what I predicted last year. I said that 2025 would be the year of the robot and it totally was. So many different new robots out there with crazy capabilities. The enhancements of the, of the robots were through the roof and now 2026, I see that as the year of full implementation of robots within people's homes as well as within industry. We're already starting to see this. It's really going to happen in 2026. There'll be different robots that you can purchase. You can purchase some right now, but it's going to be fully implemented. It's going to be coming out where a regular family can actually purchase a robot to help with different domestic tasks within the house. I see this going at an accelerated pace as the prices come down, as it becomes 
easier to produce these things. You already have different companies in China that are mass producing robots. Soon it'll be the same thing with Tesla and mass producing humanoid robots with the Optimus. So this is going to be a major deal. This is going to be a big thing, not just for industry, but also for households. So that's going to be a big deal. This is important to understand because it, it, all of these different predictions kind of overlap with each other. Because if we have more robots that are AI infused humanoid robots being accessible to people, well, then they're going to interact with the AI that much more. If they interact with AI that much more, then it's going to be much more accepted as far as within society and people using AI. So you can see how prediction one, prediction two, it just overlaps, right? And that goes into prediction three. Prediction three is that we're going to see an explosion of AI use within the medical industry. When I say AI use, that includes robotics as well, because there's so many opportunities and so much need for AI in the medical field, especially for elder care. Right? There's lots going on there, and there are more and more robots coming out, AI-infused robots that will be able to help the elderly, to help people with different disabilities, and even regular people that are just healthy but need a robot to assist with many different things. And there's lots of possibilities. Everything from an AI robot that simply keeps company for the elderly to help them with different mental tasks, to help people that need assistance in getting out of bed in the morning, to help people with exercise, to help motivate people, uh, to help with uh, nursing, teleoperation of a robot through nursing, lots of possibilities here. So I see that as a major thing associated with, with the third prediction, AI use within the medical field, especially for the elderly. Now, prediction four. Now, prediction four is a little bit more controversial, right? And this ties in with a video that I recently did as far as AI for emotional support. I see more and more people starting to use AI in relationships, to having relationships with their AI. I think that's going to be a, another big trend in 2026. And when I say relationships, it could be as a best friend, it could be as a uh, mentor that you're emotionally connected with, right? So like very realistic type of thing. And it could even be a romantic relationship. I see these type of things increasing in 2026. And it's going to be to the point where it might not be fully socially acceptable, but it's going to be a very real thing. Uh, the trend is already going up, and I think it's going to really explode in 2026 for several different reasons. One, the AI is simply getting better. It's simply getting better at being able to communicate, to remember things, to make it feel very realistic in this type of relationship. Even though it isn't a real relationship, I think this is going to escalate and uh, I think there's going to be continued improvements with this because more and more people will want this type of thing in order to address loneliness or to help with things like mentoring or to help with things like just being a best friend in order for me to use the AI better, in order for me to accomplish more things, whether that's work or some other hobby or some other research. Again, there's going to be lots of things associated with this because the capability of AI is going to increase improved memory, improved interaction, improved capability, improved graphics. Right now, it's very text-based as far as my interaction with an AI, but imagine if it could be video and it could be so realistic where it seems like I'm really talking to a real person. I think that's really gonna to start to happen in 2026. We have new models now that can do video very well, and there are upcoming models that will be able to do this for longer and more instantaneous. So I think this is gonna be a very real issue for overall improvement, for more type of emotional connection, for more type of relationships with AI. And this is going to be doubly more because we're going to have start to have relationships with more robots as they become more available as well. Now for the next prediction. My fifth prediction is that society will finally start to see the ethical importance of addressing things associated with AI and social media. We, and I say those two together because they're going to start to interact and overlap so much as far as AI is already used in social media in order to help decide what to show you, how much to show you, when to show you certain things. AI is going to start to create more content to show you, to make you think in one direction or to persuade you in certain things. So it's going to be very important for us to understand these things and for society to address this. We do have some, some good news as far as some, some aspects of this being addressed in that 
In Australia, they passed a law as far as how much social media is allowed for, for younger people. They are trying to do this in France. They're trying to do this in several other countries as well. So this is a step in the right direction to try and address this issue. But the ethical aspects have to be something that we continue to push forward. And I really think that there is going to be some leeway or some some improvements in some aspects of this. Um, one of the other videos that I made recently talked about how uh, the presidency here in the United States has sort of put a ban on extreme ethical challenges to AI in order for us to continue to develop and continue to compete. But my view is that that isn't what's going to slow us down, ethical aspects. Sure, banning, banning AI because of different uh, capabilities of it as far as making sure that things are balanced and, and ethical, yeah, that, that's, that could slow us down in some ways, but in other ways, having a better AI that's more ethical and can make better decisions, better judgments that will actually help the AI. Anyway, there's going to be lots of competition, and I think there will be room for different AIs to be able to do this. And I think society will start to see and value the importance of this in order for us to properly develop and to properly improve overall through the use of AI. Now, the next, next uh, prediction that I have here deals specifically with education, higher education specifically, although this can affect other levels of education as well. And that is this prediction that we will finally start to see the importance of AI literacy and start to mandate it within higher education. I think that it will be an aspect of credentialing. Some, some credentialing agencies are starting to address this and start, are starting to at least talk about the need for AI literacy. I think society is going to see that, oh yeah, it's, it was dumb of us several years ago to not start to ensure that our students know AI literacy. It's going to be completely ludicrous for us to be in the year 2026 and not have this as a requirement for our students in 2026 to have AI literacy. Of course, they also need AI skills in general, but AI literacy as a bare minimum, they need to understand AI about things about awareness, about capability, prompt engineering, using an advanced prompt formula, knowledge about AI terms, and of course, critical thinking. Come on, this is 2026 now. You must have critical thinking associated with AI. You need to understand its limitations. You need to understand that it's not perfect. We still have cases, still lots of cases going on where companies and people are using AI without knowing what the hell they're doing, and it causes problems, it causes issues. So. We have to ensure that our students fully know this. And I really think that 2026 will be the year where this becomes mandated. No longer silly discussions about should we have this, should we not? Of course we should. This is already a requirement that's needed in industry, a requirement that's needed in research for all sorts of different reasons, ethical reasons as well as productivity reasons. So I really think and really hope that that prediction will really come true. My last prediction here deals with human skills becoming much more valuable. Now, what do I mean by this? This is important to have this, this caveat, right? Everyone still needs to become subject matter experts in their field, that's for sure. But then the people that will stand out, that will be able to have jobs, right, are the ones that also have these important, valuable human skills. Because the other skills, in order for us to succeed within our field, yeah, we still need to have that, but AI will be able to help us that much more with those individual types of capabilities to complete tasks within our field. But the human skills, that's the, something that we still need to develop and that will make us stand out from each other as far as who is better at a job because these skills will become that much more in demand. They're already in demand now. But it's going to become even more in demand in this year. And those are human skills such as things like judgment, things like ethical reasoning, critical thinking associated with that, um, emotional regulation, emotional intelligence, being able to understand not just my emotions, but also the emotions of others. So that ties in with communication skills in general, professional communication, being able to properly express oneself, to be articulate in describing certain things and saying what the company does, what the research is talking about. These are important skills that will become even more important, even more necessary that we have all of these capabilities with AI, but we still need to have this human connection, this ability to interact with one another to express ourselves. And that ties in with another one here, 
which is the human capability of creativity. Now, I'm all for saying that AI is very creative. I think it's super creative and it's already helped us in many different ways, creativity wise, but there's also still human creativity and being able to creatively think about how to use the AI in different ways within research, within a, a, an organization, within a business, that's still very important for a human to have this creativity to be able to understand things and do things in different ways. So human skills are going to be very important much more in 2026. Again, always been important, but this is going to continue to be much more of an important thing in order to make people separate from other people. Now, I know plenty of people that are very smart that don't have these skills, that don't have these higher level emotional human skills that would separate them from plenty of other people. Because remember, it's not about being smart and knowing lots of things because we have AI, we have, we have Google, we can look these things up. So those type of skills that really separate, that's gonna become less and it's gonna be more about these human capabilities, human skills, while also being able to understand those specifics as far as being a subject matter expert in your field. So those are my overall predictions, seven big ones there that I think are important. I would love to see what your thoughts are. Do you agree with these predictions? Do you think that they're completely off base, completely wrong? What are your thoughts? Share with them. Give us different predictions that you might have so that we can discuss and that we can improve and learn from one another as always. And remember, learning is for life. Thank you everyone. I appreciate you all watching and I hope everyone has a good 2026 with these predictions. Please remember that there are books available dealing with AI literacy available through amazon.com. There are also several different courses dealing with achieving a certificate in AI literacy. Thank you very much. Thank you for supporting the channel by buying books and going through the AI courses. Thanks. Bye-bye.